You know, Jeff, I, I think about this process of effective discovery, and uh, it's natural that we, we want to jump in with, with both feet and get engaged and really get to the heart of the matter of what's going on with clients. But there's a process that you have to follow as really a preamble to an effective discovery. And it actually happens after we have credentialized or branded our practice and mm -hmm. uh, really help people to, uh, to discover what we're about. What is that, that, that midpoint between the branding message and getting into the interview? What needs to happen there that really greases the skids and builds that rapport and creates a, a sense, want, and desire on behalf of uh, prospects or clients to engage with us? That's a great question. You know, when someone tries to operate in the transactional mentality of selling something, they want to get there really, really quickly and sell it. And uh, in their mind, that's something that helps them think, I've accomplished, I've, I've moved forward. As an advisor, what we have to realize is when we sit down with our clients for the first time, we have to spend a good bit of time actually learning about their life. It's life discovery before it's issue discovery. I want to understand the things that they've thought of, the things that they've dealt with, the things that they're thinking about, the things that quite frankly may keep them awake. I want to know about their families and how they see those pieces fitting together because those are the things that allow me to understand and discover what their potential issues or their particular problems may be and really understand how I can serve a role in helping them accomplish their goals. If we skip that life discovery piece and go straight to trying to be a comprehensive wealth advisor to an issue, we've ultimately lost the credibility that we've spent so much time gaining through our branding message and the way we're trying to operate. You know, another thing that I, I thought about when uh, you started talking about the, the life element that, uh, that we're focused on is understanding how people make decisions. And I really love that that opportunity to uh, to talk about decisions they've made in the past yeah. and um, how they went through the the decision making process when it worked out well when it didn't work out so well because therein lies a lot about how you'll be working together going forward and that really doesn't have a lot to do with future goals or aspirations right. but it has a lot to do with how they're going to work with you mm -hmm. actually thinking about as they reflect back on those would they have done them differently right. is also something that's really helpful to know